Yes, yes. Very special episode this time around. We covered a range of machine learning topics already. Now the Hero Project is up for everyone to play around with. The machine that learned to identify comic book heroes is now called Hero Vision. You can get to the site by navigating to herovision.nid.io in a browser. Uh, there will also be a link in the description. Let's quickly describe how to use it. First thing is we need to get some images. We can do this by uh, using Google search or really any website or we can upload images that we may have already. So let's use a uh, Google search and we'll type in Superman. Click on the images button and we have a nice list of images that we can use. So let's slide this window over a little bit so we have more room to work with. And I'm using Windows here. I'm going to right click, go to New and Folder, and we'll just put a few Superman images in here. Now if I try to click and then drag like this, um, sometimes it does work, sometimes not. Let's see if we can get an example of it. Okay, so we got kind of a weird result there. Yeah, so I guess if it works then you can do that, but what I like to do is click on an image so you get the big preview window with the dark background. And then we can drag it over and when you release, it goes in. Now let's do this a few times. Did we get this one already? I'm not sure. Uh, you'll notice that you can see the icon. Um, that means that it will actually transfer over into this folder. There's six of them, that should be enough. Now let's switch back over to the Hero Vision website. And we can now just drag and drop these back in here. Say uploading image. This one has unknown error, so yeah, one of those didn't work. Try again. Okay, I think it's Superman 97% sure. Very good. We'll see if any of them are incorrectly identified. Wonder Woman 42% sure. <laughs> so there's one. Batman, 45%. Superman, 66. And this last one. Good. So this one was kind of cutting it close, but it did accurately um, identify the superhero. And there is one other option that we can use to upload images, and that is to use a um, address. So if we switch back to the Google tab, say we want uh, this image here, what we can do is right click it, and there's an option, copy image location. So we click that, and that will copy the location to the image, come back to the Hero Vision website, and then we can paste in here. And one thing to remember is you have to click away before it will start. And you'll notice that some websites, um, they don't allow this type of sharing. If that happens, you can do the drag and drop method, or you can just skip it. So we'll just, we'll just skip it for now. Um, so what makes the Hero Vision uh, so cool is its ability to learn new things. 
you can take an original picture and let it guess what character it contains. Over time, as people try new characters, we can retrain the machine so it can learn new characters uh, that it could not recognize before. Right now it knows seven characters and it's close to being able to identify an eighth one. So I encourage everyone to try it out, see what characters it already knows, and if you want to train a new character, remember that um, variety is important. So if you search for things like Superman toy, Superman cosplay, Superman art, um, the, the more variety there is, the better the end result will be. The accuracy will be higher the more variety in images it is able to recognize. So I, yes, I definitely encourage everyone to check out Hero Vision. Link is in the description. Uh, remember to click the orange triangle in this video to subscribe and learn how Hero Vision was created. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.